Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've got one for you today. We've got a full width video here today. It's playing automatically and it's muted and if we roll down viewers have got the controls on the bottom they can unmute it or pause it do whatever they want and we've got a bit of text over the middle here when we hover over it there's a little hand icon so we can add a URL and take our visitors wherever we want to I'm taking them in this particular case to one of my playlists really easy to do we've got to do a bit of coding for this today but don't let that put you off any code I'll write I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it so let's get started I'm going to enable the visual builder and let's just delete this and we'll start from scratch I'm going to add a new section and I'll delete that section on top that was just a regular section I added I'm going to add a single column with a single row. Obviously, you put in there what you want. We're going to use a code module to do this today. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules. And you get another extra dozen if you've got WooCommerce installed. OK, well, let's add our little code module. And there it is. We can leave it right here at the minute. We can paste in our iframe code there in a minute. So let's go over to YouTube or wherever you like to get your videos from and grab the video of your choice. When you found one, go down to the share button just underneath and hit the embed. Now my video, I want mine to autoplay and if there's any music or commentary behind it, I want it to be muted. So I'm going to just modify this code a little bit right here. Right after the URL of the actual video itself, we've got iframe, width, source and then the URL, the HTTPS. And it ends in a number there just before the inverted comma. I'm going to put my cursor just after the last letter, which in this case is the Q, and before that inverted comma there. And I'm going to put a question mark. I'm going to say autoplay equals one. And that'll make it play automatically. Then right after that, I'm going to add an ampersand or the and icon. And I'm going to say mute equals one. And that'll make it play automatically and muted. So once you've put that in there, and I'll just put this below just in case anybody needs to use it. We can copy our iframe code, control C, go back to our Divi site, paste it into our little code module there. And as you can see, it's popped up, it's automatically playing and it's muted, which is exactly what we want. Let's just save this a minute. I'll get rid of that section that we left at the top there. Empty section. Let's just pause this video. Um, let's go back in and add the content we want to add now. OK, well, I want to have a link that links to a playlist of mine when people click on it. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to copy my playlist URL. I'm going to go back there. Down in the link just down below, I'm going to pop it in module link there. Because we're going off of the website, I'm going to open it in a new tab, best practice. That's great. Now we can add whatever text overlay we want to add. So let's go to the advanced, custom CSS, in a little before box here. I'm going to add some content and anything I write in here will be down below the video for anybody that just wants to cut and paste it. So I'm going to say content, colon. Then I'm going to open a couple of single inverted commas Inside the inverted commas, we can write whatever text we want. Whatever you want to say in there. OK, let's just add a little semicolon so we can add another line of text. And as you can see, it's added it at the top there. We want it to be in the middle of our video. So let's do it with a bit of positioning. So I'm going to say position. Absolute, because it wants to stay absolutely where we put it within our little module there. And I want it halfway down, halfway along. So I'm going to say top 50%. And I want it halfway along. So I'm going to say left 50%. And 
Now, you may have noticed, or you may have not noticed, that you can't see it. It should be kind of in the middle here. So let's bring it to the front by using a bit of Z-index. Z-index brings things forward or backwards in a website. Higher numbers will always appear on top of things with lower numbers. So I'm going to give this a Z-index of perhaps 50 and see how that works. Z-index 50. There it is. I don't know if you can see that, but that's now appeared on top of the video there. Watch the playlist on YouTube. And it's not sort of quite in the middle. The left corner is in the middle. So we need to move it or adjust it so it's exactly in the middle at all times. Let's put a semicolon on there so we can add another line of code. To do that, I'm going to use some transform colon and we're going to translate. I've got to open and close some round brackets. And inside, I'm going to put negative 50% across a negative 50% up and down. That way it should appear in the middle at all times. So negative 50% or minus 50%, however you like to say it, comma, and minus 50% again. And as you can see, that's smack in the middle now. Just what I wanted. So let's put a semicolon on there and let's decorate this text so we can actually see it a bit better. First thing I want to do is make it a bit bigger. So we'll say font size. Make it say 40 pixels. There we go. Let's make it white in color so we can see it. So I'll just say color white, which is hashtag FFF. And we'll give it a background color so it stands out against any video that's going on there. So let's put in background. I'm going to make it black, which is that. Black's actually six zeros, but with anything with six of the same, you just have to put in three with CSS3. But I'm going to put in the other three because I'm going to make that slightly opaque. So I'm going to put the other three zeros in there. So it's six zeros. And I'm going to put a number. I'm going to put 90 in there. And you can go from zero, zero to nine, nine. And it's different amounts of opacity. As you can see, that dark background's now kind of see-through. Great. But it's breaking the text into two lines. I don't want that. So let's make it a bit wider so it can fit on there. I want it to be about 80% of the width of the video. So let's put a semicolon so we can add a new line. And I'm going to say width 80%. There we go. That's nice and stretched out now. But I want the text in the middle. And I want that dark background to sort of wrap that text a bit better. So let's get that text in the middle first. Text align, center. That's if you want your text in the middle, obviously. And we'll drop down and we'll say for the background, I just need to add some padding all around of say 50 pixels should do it. So let's say just padding. If I just put in one value, it'll do top, right, bottom and left all at once, 50 pixels. There we go, that covers it quite nicely. And you can read everything. You can make that text bold or something if you want to. Which would be font weight. Bold. Makes it stand out even a little bit better there. And we're pretty much good to go there. So let's put our little semicolon in there just in case we want to add something. And don't forget I'll put all these lines of code below the video for anybody that wants to cut and paste. You'll just have to change out your text up there. Make sure you don't cut off the the single inverted commas either side okay well it'd be kind of nice if that was full width too so we'll save we'll go back into the row itself I'm gonna go to design sizing I'm gonna pull the width up there 100% I'm gonna copy that control C paste it in the max width below or you can just type it in if you want We've now got a full width video background there. Get any rid of any gap at the top. I'm going to shut up the sizing, go down to spacing. I'm going to put a zero in the padding. I'm going to hit the chain so it does the bottom as well. And there'll be a bit left over and that's actually in the section. So we can save our row now. Go into the section and do the same thing for the spacing. So go design and spacing. Put a zero in there. 
hit the chain. There we go, we're buffered up against the top now. Fantastic. All right, well, let's save this and make sure it's going to work on the front end. Fuck you, man. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we go. Our video's playing. There's no sound on the video. If we roll down, we've got a link when we roll over our heading right here that we've put in. And if we roll down further, people can access the pause or turn the music and sound up if they need to on the video itself. So there you go, guys. There's how to have a full width video with a text overlay and a link. Nice little feature to have on your site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.